Mega Machines Channel presents a documentary about the great bucket wheel excavators. The Monsters of Mining The biggest machines in the world This video is about the legendary bucket wheel excavators. Remarkable. Unstoppable. And the king of excavators. It all started in 1920 when the first bucket wheel excavator was manufactured. It took five years in order to design and manufacture this huge bucket wheel excavator and another five years to assembly it. Since then these excavators have been used in mining. Over the years the size of the bucket wheel excavators has grown drastically. Today the biggest bucket wheel excavator is about 225 meters long, 96 meters high and weighs 14,200 tons. This huge excavator has total length 130 meters, height 47 meters and the total weight is 5,000 tons. These enormous machines are made of hardened steel. They are working with electric power and are conjunct with a lot of pieces such as the wheel boom, the cabin, conveyor belts, spreaders, crushing stations and others. With these conjunctions they can mine and move massive amounts of material. The rotating wheel has approximately 12.5 meters diameter and moves with the help of a gear box. The head of the bucket wheel is developed especially for the mining of soft to medium hard materials. The power of the electric motors is being converted by a gearbox into cutting force. These electric motors are 1250 kilowatt. The buckets are designed to withstand major digging forces and they are extremely used in bulk materials handling. When the material is rocky the work of the machine becomes more difficult. The excavating capacity is 10,000 cubic meters per hour. This machine has 10 buckets, which have 3 cubic meters capacity, and 10 cutters. The rotating wheel has 3 stages of speed. The first stage is 2.12 meters per second. The second stage is 2.43 and then the third stage is 2.75 meters per second. The speed that the wheel bucket will have depends on the material that it digs. The wheel boom is designed with a combination of full web and framework structures, is supported by two hoisting cylinders and can move up, down and side to side. It has 45 meters length and maximum digging height 35 meters. The rotation speed is 5 to 30 meters per minute and the speed it can reach when it's moving up and down is 1 to 5 meters per minute. Also the maximum digging depth is 5 meters. The rejection boom has 55 meters length, rotation speed 10 meters per minute and the maximum height it can reach is 20 meters. The undercarriage has 3 double crawlers with length 13 meters and width 3.5 meters each crawler. The minimum radius of crawler's curvature is 60 meters and their speed is from 2 to 10 meters per minute. As the machine digs, the mord moves forward to make up for removed ground.
This excavator has three conveyor belts with two meters width each. The first conveyor belt, in which the material fells from the bucket wheel, has length 47 meters and transfers the material to the second conveyor belt. The middle conveyor belt, which has length 15 meters, transfers the material to the rejection conveyor belt. The rejection conveyor belt is over 50 meters long and transfers the material to another conveyor belt and from there the material goes to a spreader. All of the conveyor belts have the same speed which is 4 meters per second. Approximately 20,000 tons of material can be carried away by the conveyor belts per hour. As for the cabin, it has the ability to go up and down like an elevator. It has five front windows, so that the operator has better visibility. In order to operate this huge machine three to four people are needed, one operator at the rear loading unit, one or two coordinators and a main operator in the cabin. In the cabin there are two main levers. The right lever from the operator's seat is rotating right and left and moving up and down the boom. The left lever is for the crawler's movement. Behind the right lever is the regulator that controls the speed of the bucket wheel. In the cabin there is also an indicator panel with bulbs, which shows which parts of the machine are in operation and if there is a problem it shows where it is. When a problem appears and the machine stops working, then a solution must be found immediately without moving the huge machine and losing more time. It's suggested that every 10 years this kind of excavator should be rebuilt, in order to avoid functional problems. This kind of excavator works every day and every night without stopping. There are lights all over the machine, from the bucket wheel to the last rear part. The problems that appear must be solved as fast as possible because as the machine doesn't work, the electrical power decreases. This documentary is about the biggest excavators in the world, the Bucket Wheel Excavators, and was created and directed by Mega Machines Channel. Thanks for watching.